What's up guys and welcome to Breath Edge. So this is a game I've had my eye on for quite some time, mainly because of the comparisons that it draws. A lot of people call this Subnautica, but in space. Now, uh, you guys know Subnautica. It's one of the best series we've ever done here on this channel. I think it's one of the best games of all time, especially in that like survival, exploration, foraging style. So if this is anything like that, then I think we're going to be in for a treat here. So I'm excited to check it out. It's been in early access for a while. As of today, it's fully released. So this is version one, the full game. And uh, we'll see what happens. If we enjoy it, be sure to show some support. Drop a like, leave some comments. We can make this a full series. If we're not feeling it, then we can totally check out something else to play. So uh, let's just go ahead and start it up. Play on standard mode. Get into it. Let's see um, see if we can survive in space. Red Ruin Softworks presents... Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. <laughs> I like the sarcasm. 22 awards some other games received. Really selling me here. Searching for this font took up half the development time. <laughs> Director, is it needed here at all? Got some robot overlords here. The Red Ruin Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest to replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. It's a carrot. <laughs> here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Oh. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Spitting was a lousy idea. We agree. You better tell your story first. You can still have your defiant expression. We defiantly tell him. You're 2073. Somewhere on, somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Okay? So we're going to some sort of a funeral. There's green something. Uh, interstellar liner. Unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. Hmm. A chicken? Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Activists promote new... At Bearing any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. What? There goes Grandpa. Breath Edge. Chapter one, lost in space. Dude, I am, I'm so lost. Okay. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. Continue your definitely unembellished story. I, I have no clue what's going on, but all right, here we go. Hopefully this starts to make a little bit more sense. It's a chicken, there's a, Funeral, there's a crash, bubblegum, chicken made it, so that's good. Greetings, I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Yeah, all right, so we've got movement, flying, left hand, right hand, flashlights, turning items, okay. I got it, should be good. Into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Okay, so we could just go ahead and plug the gas leak. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object <laughs> without any holes. <laughs> okay, let me let me get the gun. Okay, so we're gonna be able to open that up. Can grab our chewing gum. So we're gonna be able to grab this, plug it with the chewing gum. That's impressive. You've almost won. 
Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, so we can place our spacesuit in there. We want to use the interphone, you said? Let me try to use this. Okay, so that's that's not working. We got to go back out into space. Let me outside we go. Okay, so we're collecting what is this ice? We're collecting ice and all kinds of little things. Some metal. We've got to go fix that that uh, interstellar telephone thing, but we might as well pick up these little particles here. So that's where the big crash happened. Obviously, we're going to be able to explore around all this stuff and you know kind of hopefully eventually be able to make a way out of here. So this. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. Okay. See if I can adjust this guy. Engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel if it's still intact. Okay. Steering wheel, which is going to be up here. Oxygen's not limited. We're getting close. Like um, steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed Gotta to get inside. Interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Okay. So about five years and we, we might be able to be able to fix the, the thing. So we want to create a debugging station. How do I do that? Can I use this? It's still broken. Create a debugging station. Here's the processor. He was saying we could use that. See, like we can make a nutrition package. We can make bottles of water. We can make different equipment, enhanced spacesuits, helmets, cryptographic debugging station. We're going to need a piece of wire to be able to do that. Different resources, objects, stuff like that. Okay. So we need to go outside. We need to find water. Obviously, we're going to need... Oop, oop. Was that it? Did I miss it? What is that? Tape recorder? Need a handy scrapper to be able to do that. Okay. So I'm going to pick up all the stuff that we can here. We need to find wire, though. I'm wondering, is the wire... Can we grab, like, pieces of wire here? I don't think we can grab that. I haven't seen any wire yet. I've seen a lot of this green stuff. I've seen a lot of the blue stuff, which is ice. And then I've seen some of the... It was, like, a piece of metal, I think. Is that wire? That might have been wire right there. That was no, that was metal. So we might hold on. Can we create? Can we create wire from metal? Let me let me see if we can do that. Use this processor, equipment, resources, refined metal. I have no clue how to make wire. So it looks like wire is found in debris and electrical appliances obtained via hands and a handy scrapper. So it's going to be a little little gold ball. I guess, uh, I mean, maybe we just aren't, we might not be branching out far enough. Let's, let's try, like, if we go up somewhere like this. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Well, this is really sad. Carrot top. It's covered in saliva, but it still looks appetizing. We'll take that. We've got a corpse here. Can throw him. Okay. So we're looking for wire. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. Extract some wiring. Okay, so you physically have to pull it off of... Ah, I see here. You have to pull it off the edge of stuff. You gotta find where things have broken and just kind of take it. We've got little little suitcases and stuff. What is this? Bottles of water? Don't mind if I do. I know we can craft those. We've also got food pouches. Alcohol, not bad. That's good news for us. Dude, this is kind of cool. Oxygen is not, not unlimited. I know that. I'm just gonna keep grabbing what I can. Beautiful. Obviously, looting early is, is pretty important. Don't want to end up losing any oxygen, though. Inside. Okay, so now that we're here, we should be able to make that, uh, it's under tools. Cryptographic debugging station, most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic, blah, blah, blah. okay, yeah, we got it. Sweet. So that's crafted. It's going to go in our inventory. What do you want me to do with this? Pick it up. So I'm going to put that on one. Then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Okay. Just bang it up. We're going to call for help. Attention all survivors of Rescue Shuttle Hope has been sent from the nearest evacuation point due to the site malfunction of the engines. 4,000 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> well, let's create crap and crows by the developers and put it in your hands is our next task. Okay. I, I kind of want to 
Can I see what's going on here? So we've, we've got switches. We could change our radio station. What's in here? Ah, the lavatory. And we can also relieve ourselves in case we need it. Uh, kind of interesting there. We've got a first aid kit. We need a scanner to be able to use that. We might be able to make more of those. I'm just trying to see what we've got going on. Our friends, a picture with the autographs of grandpa's best friends. The times when their crazy gang went on as they called it a space odyssey. It's lasted almost a year and put them in the blacklist of bars on most inhabited planets. They're really good guys already gone. Interesting. So this was our grandpa's funeral. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken, a portrait of a dark background, a portrait of a light background, master shot in the rain, photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me and I can't get rid of it by giving it to anybody. Wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted to sign me as a sprinter after that race. That day I flew. That is great because that's a recreation of a meme. The, the little girl with the thing. Good photo was taken two years before grandpa's death. Jacket has outlived them and will probably outlive me as well. Dude, what in the world? is going on so we've got a drill blueprint filled with blueprints we'll take that we've got this is the newspaper we were reading at the start famous and only galactic newspaper piece of truth to this we've got uh breath edge soyuz carrots i'll take that we've got another carrot here we could potentially eat Got a burdock. We can't scan that yet. We can rest in our bed. We got a picture of Earth. Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Nice. Okay. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to... <laughs> Harry Potter cat? ...not to be distracted despite the objections of the hormone system. Bro, I'm... Okay. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm confused, but we're, we're just going to keep on going. So we need to create, ooh, can I, nope, can't grab that. I thought that was going to be, we need something to, we need the scrapper to be able to break things. Freezing danger. Is it cold outside currently? Is it because, is this, did the sun go away or something? We need to, we need to create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in our hands. Now what kind of crap that is, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to come out here. I'm going to grab what I can for now. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Well, that's not good. So it is a little bit cold out. Obviously, we don't want to lose our, our vision here. I'm just going to grab everything I can in the hopes that we're going to be able to craft some sort of a... I mean, the scrapper would be nice because a lot of this stuff, we need the scrapper to be able to break open and get more materials out of it. Handy scrapper is going to take three metals so we can create one of these bad boys. Babe, my... Who just texted us right there? Bro, somebody somebody with a very suggestive picture just texted us right there. I'm not sure who it was. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in our one slot. We've got a scrapper now. What what other stuff does it want me to create is the question. Crap imposed by the developers. Actually, some crap imposed by the developers. We need two refined metal, wire, and thick electrical tape. Refined metal is going to have to be crafted. Thick electrical tape is going to have to be crafted as well. Okay, so we're going to be able to make some refined metal here with four metal. Looks good. And then how do we make the thick elect... We might have to find the thick electrical tape. We're going to get outside and get more more, more metal to be able to make the refined stuff. But uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to craft it if we haven't already somewhat found it. You know what I mean? Like you, we, we need to find and, and see the tape before it's going to let us. Let me... Oop. I see a dangerous place in the radar. There's many life-giving oxygen, so you cannot fly there. If you were suddenly smoked there, you could expose. It's better to suffocate than to burn. What are you... Who's babe? Let me pick this up. Ooh, look at this. Hold on a second. So we just broke that, and it gave us some interesting pieces. Plastic. Our inventory is full. I think we might want to want to drop some of these. So we need, we need refined metal. What is this here? Is this metal? Ice ball. This is an asteroid. How do we find metal? We just need the little pieces of metal, but, like, how do we find it consistently? It's here. It's here. Hold on. We're going to kind of run out of oxygen, I think. Come on, baby. There it is. So it's the big it's the big orange balls is what we're looking for. Shoot, we're at six, five, four, three. Is this going to start doing some damage or how is this going to work? We might be in trouble. Oh, that's not our home. My bad. This is our home. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. We're good. Okay. Health went down a little bit, but we're going to be fine. So now we're back here. I don't know how we're going to make that other stuff. We're going to be able to make a, a second piece of refined metal. So we've got that down. We're two out of the, the three things for this. We need to make electrical tape, though. I don't know how to make electrical tape. So there are tools, items, resources, roll of fabric. See, we don't, we don't even have any electrical tape. Let me see. Didn't we have... Yeah, we had some containers here. What's inside these containers? Battery. Electrical tape. Okay, so we just have to find the pieces. We've obviously got to keep 
keep branching out and uh and, and grabbing what we can find so like these these containers that we're seeing here are gonna have new stuff that we may not have seen before now this is taking quite a bit of our durability but that's fine shoot inventory full i'm gonna drop some more of this these are so easy to find out in the the wild anyway some metal some of that some more wire is there anything else interesting here all this stuff starts to, to flow away from you which is not good so we th this is a nutrition package right here We've got one. Let me go ahead and use this. That's going to get our, our food up, and then we can drink some water, and that's going to open up some space. So now we can grab that again wherever it ended up going. Right here. Not sure how to get our health back. I would assume once we get a scanner, we should be able to be able to do that. Is this babe? This might be babe. A, a typical counter with girls Miss September Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache. My ass got some wide strips grandpa's belt after this incident that's funny okay so let me let me use this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be able to make a roll of thick electrical tape and then from there we're gonna be able to make this crap the developers wanted us to make got a bunch of stuff in our inventory we should probably start start dropping i think that's part of our problem i'm gonna go over here for some alcohol there i'm just gonna i'm gonna drop all this i don't think we need this stuff so let's take this guy we're gonna throw this in our hands Reach, max. Uh, the electrical stimulation is complete. <laughs> Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. <laughs> However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Okay, so our next task is going to be to get to the evacuation point. I guess let's just go ahead and ins install this. Where do we even want to install it at, though? Let me cancel. Do we want to... You want to take? There's no way we can get to the evacuation point. What? What do you want me to do with this? It's got to be trolling me, bro. There's, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get, get 1,500 meters when we have. I mean, we've got 53 oxygen. There's, there's just, there's no way. I, I, I'm gonna go for it. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to look around. I, it, it said that we like got level 999 max prowess, whatever, whatever, whatever. It, it's, it's 100 percent. It's 100 percent troll me. It, it, uh, forgive my accent, humanity flyer of the galaxy, but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? Well, we, we've definitely got to go save Babe at some point. Um, this is a big block of ice or something. We're now almost out of breath. We're freezing. I, I'm going to hope there's something that we can grab in here. Otherwise, we're going to die. The game sarcasm is about to kill me right now. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I was hoping it was going to be like an auction stop or something. See, we made it, you know, close. We made it about 200 meters, you know, like one sixth one seventh of the, the way there um this was just not this was just not cool i'm just gonna keep going we'll see what happens so the evac point is a thousand meters away if we can if we can learn what we need to do to be able to make it a thousand meters away then we're gonna be good is this what is that thing there a cemetery of rescue shuttles the evacuation zone is very close but the amount of debris is far from encouraging you're dead okay um I'm going to go ahead and load my autosave here. So obviously we survived till the end because otherwise we wouldn't be talking to these, these, you know, robot overlords, but um, I'm not sure where we went wrong. So we have, uh, we've got a container here on our ship. I'm going to go ahead and, and move this thing over. I don't actually think, I don't actually think we need to use that for anything. In fact, I'm, I'm going to put most everything over there. I really, I don't, I don't think we need any of this stuff currently. Obviously to make some water bottles and food and stuff like that, but we're going to keep all that over there for now. And then we could just kind of, you know, drop this stuff over here because again we don't uh don't really need it so i'm gonna say let's let's take a nice little rest here so i believe resting is how you increase your health a bit so that's great it is obviously going to take up some of our our food and water as we go as well but uh, i think we need to but our, our goal is to eventually get to that spot but i think we need to work our way up to getting there obviously we're going to need a way to stay alive to stay warmer to to you know increase our oxygen and stuff like that i'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that but uh i mean no time like the present do we have uh what did we need to be able to make one of these scrappers i feel like we should grab a second scrapper here just three metal so we're going to take three metal let's go ahead and make ourselves a uh a second scrapper tool Gonna have that in our back pocket to be able to use whenever we need it. And uh, let's, I guess let's just get out of here and let's let's go exploring. Let's go see what we can find. So it's obvious that, you know, like these these wrecks are kind of where we're getting the new knowledge from and stuff like that. I mean, we do we do have like, like what is this thing? A little tape recorder. We can grab that, pick up batteries and stuff. 
Going to be able to break these metal pieces here. Obviously, we're going to be looking for metal later on in the game. Let me see what's going on down here. Got cut off like a little pink crack. This subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. So we've got some shears. Being in a spacesuit, where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Okay, interesting. So it looks like he was murdered and handcuffed and some, some bondage going on there. That's kind of cool. Let me see. We've got, what is this over here? I'm a little bit worried about, is that? I'm going to get back up top. I'm going to go back home. I think that might be an oxygen tank. That might be like a little a little break area or something. We're going to be careful though. Make sure we keep our health up and, and just slowly but surely branch out. Get our oxygen back up to 75 and then we're going to be able to go back out. So I'm going to try to go down. I'm going to try to see what's going on down here. We've got to be able to discover something. Babe's still texting us. She thinks she's getting rescued, girl. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing first. So we got to break this thing. Uh, let me let me put this, this on. Shoot. Are we going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to make it in. We, we're going to get it. We're going to get it down. We're going to go back up. Scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. Okay, so we're going to need a scanner for something down here. I'm not really sure. We're also going to need a second scrapper. So let's get back inside. Hopefully we're going to be able to be able to fully open this bad boy on our third trip down here we go we made it do we have three pieces of metal we do so let me let me grab a couple more there we're gonna be able to craft ourselves a new handy scrapper i thought we had three metal oh shoot we need one more i gave away i gave away pieces of metal all right be able to make this handy scrapper here did we unlock the scanner i don't think we unlocked the scanner no okay we're going to be fine. Let's go back out and let's get after it. Here we go. Straight back down here. Hopefully, we're going to be able to bust this thing open. Hopefully, there's going to be some oxygen on the other side. We've also got something over there. What is this? That looks like a condom. Is there's that a no condom? On the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. What? Let me, let, me, let me just finish this thing off. Here we go. Come on. I'm pretty sure we just increased our oxygen because we're using a condom now. I'm not 100% sure, but... Ooh, look at that. No mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen state. You must carefully remove the station by removing two... You must carefully, re you must carefully remove the station by removing two... Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Okay, so we... This is a portable oxygen station. I think that we just learned how to build. I, I don't know if we, do we, there was condom. Strangely shaped balloon has extra strength and elasticity. You can pump it with oxygen. There won't be much of it, but it would be enough for one breath if it doesn't pop. So we can, we can use that. If we put that on two, I, I don't know how we use it, but there's going to be some sort of way to use it, which is cool. So we're going to be able to use that to stay out longer and stuff. We've got oxygen candles over here. I'm just going to pick up everything we can. We also... I thought we were going to be able to get some wire from that. We're, we're kind of learning. There's there's a lot to take in here, but we're kind of learning. Back home here. Let me see. Do we unlock anything that we're going to be able to make? So we can make an oxygen balloon that gives us plus 25 oxygen reserve. We're going to need two plastic and thick electrical tape. I actually think we might have that. Two plastic. We've got two plastic, and then we need the thick electrical tape which we need to make with two rubber. So we're going to have to go find two rubber and then we're going to be able to upgrade that. We can also make an oxygen station with a candle, thick elect electrical tape and aluminum. Okay. So now we need to go find more rubber and I think I think that's going to improve our our main oxygen source, you know what I mean? Like our our the one on our body, the one on our person. Let me go see what we've got going on over here. Don't know who would This is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Okay. What? Yell I don't think we want the yellowish water. Uh, we've also got a dead hamster. Excuse me, poor fellow. For some reason, there's always been a lot of rodents. Whether they ran away and multiplied or they're especially bred, I don't know. But I think there's still a lot of them. I propose to call it Hammond. Although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. Okay. We gotta get back up. So we just took people's pee and a hamster. I... I don't know where this game's going. Okay, so we we could keep we could keep our hamster here. Uh, I don't know why we'd want to, but we're we're gonna keep him. We need to go find some more rubber. That's the the biggest thing right now. Rubber is is big for us. Obviously, metal overall is pretty solid too. A little bit more rare. We've got fabric here. We're looking for rubber. We also need to make a scanner, which I don't know if we have the ability to do that yet, but we're looking for rubber because I want to increase my... Ooh, we've got a coffin here. Magnetic master key. 
Okay, that's kind of a little bit sad to think about. Looking for rubber. We found some rubber before in one of the little, like, briefcases that were floating around other people. We just need to be able to find those again. We're getting cold. Seeing lots of metal up here. The problem is we just can't go too far. Going over here. This is a little bit creepy. A lot of various goods were transported from the cargo hold to the liner unnamed. The global funeral agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertising company and has nothing to there do they with are. these goods. Okay, okay. If we go out and go straight left, we're going to be able to find some more of those containers that hopefully have the rubber in them. We obviously, I mean, being being able to have a little bit more, more oxygen is going to allow us to get out further and not have to consistently, you know, return back to base every time we start to venture out even just a little bit. So let's get this all the way back up 100%. 75, really. Looks good. Now we're going to come out here. We're going to go straight left. So that, I mean, a lot of bodies in there. That's just a little bit creepy, not gonna lie. Let's see what we've got going on over here. I do see a chance to get some copper as well. I'm gonna grab that. Break these bad boys open. Shoot. Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Okay. Uh, didn't really get anything out of that. Let me check this here. Shoot, we're almost gonna have to turn around again, dude. It's so frustrating. We got water, oxygen candles. We need another scrapper. We have one. Let me finish this, and then we're going to have to go back. We're probably going to die here. Not die, but we're probably going to take some damage. Just one more thing there. Battery. Okay. So that's not exactly what we were looking for. I need rubber. I saw there was one on the way in. There was one kind of below us here. Checking these containers. There. Okay, we got, got some rubber. That's good. I also saw... Ooh. These are sparking. The vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Okay, so we have to we have to neutralize the electricity with a chicken. What does that do though? This is kind of a little bit sad. All right, we got that, I guess. Got some more of these things we're going to be able to break open. Grab this stuff, one more here. So we should have enough to be able to increase our oxygen supply now. Pick all those guys up. Got ourselves another condom. Nice. Definitely one of the the most important resources you can find in space. Uh, it's uh, it's a good thing we're we're getting these here. So now we're gonna be able to come back in here. We're gonna be able to use our processor. So we need two plastic and thick electrical tape. So we're gonna make uh we're gonna make the thick electrical tape. I believe we have some extra plastic in here. Let me grab that. All right. Now we're gonna be able to uh be able to make this thing. So we're currently at 75 oxygen. If we make this bad boy, bada bing, bada boom. Now you guys can see, I mean, we could upgrade our helmet. We could upgrade our suits, uh, instead of jet pack and some other stuff. But we now have the balloon, which got us up to 100, which is pretty great. So I'm going to make some nutrition packages here because we've got this goo and stuff. Also thinking maybe some water. I mean, we've got we've got so much water currently. I guess we actually probably don't want to waste it. I'm going to make three, three nutrition packages. Obviously, we could... Uh, I mean, we, we could kind of eat these things here. Let's go ahead and use that. Drink a couple of things of water. We're back up towards 100%. Our health is still looking pretty good. I mean, that's that's kind of a kind of a good spot, I guess. I mean, we, we need to just keep on grinding. So really, our, our only objective here, where do you see your objectives, tasks, is to get to the evacuation point. So at this point, I mean, we've got a little bit more oxygen. Not going to let us get there. We need to find a way to stay warm. And we do have the ability to create those, like, oxygen tanks along the way so that that might be useful we see be careful with vacuum breakdowns we've got babe texting us non-stop miscellaneous huh I, I i don't know i don't know what our we want to get to where we're trying to get but i don't know how to get there is what i'm saying so i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want this to be a full series let me know i don't think it's the longest game in the world but uh kind of interesting here at the start i like the humor i like uh i like it so far let me know what you guys think down in the comments drop a like if you guys enjoyed peace out